Ah uh, yes, it is me again with this look. Let's see what $16.99 got us for the Fortune Cookie Soap Soap of the Month box. And I'm sharing with you my unboxing and first impressions now. Hey, it's Amanda. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to my channel. But if it's your first time here and you enjoy beauty hauls, subscription unboxings, first impressions, reviews, and more, start right now by hitting subscribe for new videos weekly. I love Fortune Cookie Soap. I view it as my monthly self-care box. Lately, it's kind of been very hit or miss for me. I miss the old subscription so much. It used to be on point. I never had complaints with it. Now that they have made the subscription smaller, I just feel like it hasn't been a well curated box. But nonetheless, the theming is super cute. So if you're interested in seeing what I got for August 2019, just keep on watching. August's theme is Witch Please. I love that. It reminds me of The Wizard of Oz. And on the back, it gives you a list of the products that are inside. And we have our monthly sticker. It says, it's not where you go, it's who you meet along the way. Love that. I will probably be sticking it somewhere somewhere in the beauty room. And ta-da! All right, smells good. Like fabric softener. Where to begin? Okay, I'm a little intrigued because this has a rope. What is this? Oh, this is a scent diffuser. I don't have a diffuser. Okay, I'm interested. I didn't know they made some. This is what smells like fabric softener. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a diffuser just for this. So the first product is the Flying Monkeys Scent Diffuser. It smells like fabric softener, I'm obsessed. I don't have a diffuser, but now I need to get one. My allergies are acting up. I went from really, really runny to really, really stuffy. If I had a diffuser, maybe it would just, you know, clear up my nostrils. I had no idea they started making scent diffusers and that's really exciting for me. More reasons to buy one now. Add it to my Christmas list. I know, Christmas is not for another couple months but at least I can put something practical on my list. I definitely have to check out more of their scents online and by the name of Flying Monkeys this is a very Wizard of Oz theming and I love Wizard of Oz. It is such a classic. thought that this would be maybe more appropriate for October so now I'm like what is October is gonna be? I'm like hmm Beetlejuice, Jack Skellington. Next we have the BFF's hand sanitizer. Luckily last month we got a hand sanitizer case. So once that one's up, this one can go in. And they're also the shape of the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. So if you have cases from them, these can definitely fit them. It doesn't really have like a smell. It just smells like normal hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. I really couldn't detect the scent until like I dispensed it and I rubbed it in. But it smells like a blueberry waffle. Cause like normally when I open up like a Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer, I could smell it right away. So it was quite interesting that I had to dispense it and rub it in first to have a smell. I don't think I've ever had to do that with their hand sanitizers before. Or maybe I just never noticed. I don't know. Next we have the There's No Place Like Home Fortune Cookie Soap. I don't use these. I use these to decorate the beauty room. This one was from a few months back from our Peter Pan box. I did not do an unboxing of it, but it's just chilling here on my shelf. And I also have the Alice in Wonderland one in my bathroom right now. They're just too cute to use. Oh yes. Red and glittery like her ruby slippers. So that is super adorable. I'm just gonna set it down with Mr. Incredible and my minion right there. Next we have the Swankified, <laughs> that's such a weird word, Swankified Wall Walnut scrub. This is such a gentle exfoliating body scrub. I am almost out of a smaller jar that I have just like this. I have definitely purchased multiple jars of full size ones. I miss the old subscriptions when they used to put a full size one in. I know I'm throwing shade. I miss that one. They should have the option of like the old one and the new one. It'd be fun to do a head to head comparison too. It's kind of like Ipsy Glam Bag and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. That's my advice to Fortune Cookie Soap if they're watching this. Probably not. This is one of my all time favorite products at fortune cookie soap carries. It's just a very gentle exfoliator that I like to use year round. I don't exfoliate my body every single day, but when I do I find this super gentle, I know it says the word walnut and everyone automatically thinks of Kylie skin. It's so smooth. Yes, you can see like some grit in here, but it's not rough at all. I don't know how they do it. It's one of the softest exfoliators. Blows my mind every single time. Cause I'm like, how? I see grit, but I don't feel it. We have the green is the new black whipped cream. I love their whipped creams. No, you can't eat it. But it's such a fun consistency of lotion that is super 
hydrating. Oh my gosh, it smells like a Yankee candle. <laughs> like a very sweet one. I wanna say there's kind of like a cinnamon or apple scent to it. They do have a full size jar, but what I love about these is I can keep these at my work desk and when my hands get a little dry, it's just nice to open it up, get a little bit on and just hydrate your hands. Very handy in the winter. And I also carry one in my purse just because my hands get dry. I don't know what it is. They just like to be dry. Like I just moisturized this hand earlier when I was filming another video and I'm like, it's already dehydrated. So I'm constantly having to hydrate my hands. This one wants some love too. Like I mentioned, there is a fragrance in here, but it's not irritating because there have been some lotions that have irritated my skin from fragrance and fortune cookie soaps don't irritate my skin at all. It's just super hydrating. It smells good and I love it. It's also good for your elbows. Like my elbows get super dry and crusty and gross. So these definitely come in handy for that. Oh, we got my favorite products, perfume oils. And then lastly, we have the Shiz perfume oil. I have so many of their perfume oils. I'm just gonna set this one aside for a future giveaway. I'm so excited to put this in a giveaway. I rave about fortune cookie soap. I hope you guys love their products as much as I do. Be sure to be subscribed for a future giveaway. So overall, I really did enjoy this box. Like I said, it's been hit or miss for me recently, but it has two of my favorite products that fortune cookie soap makes. We got a walnut scrub and we have a whipped cream. So I'm definitely gonna get a lot of use out of both of these. I find that the whipped creams last a long time. You are kind of scooping out the amount that you need instead of dispensing it. Cause I know with me and dispensing lotion, too much always comes out. So I like to be able to have control in these jars. The walnut scrub is gonna go by pretty fast. I'll probably get about one to two months use out of it since I don't exfoliate every single day. I just love being able to have hand sanitizer. I put them on my backpacks, my purses. I guess I just need to add one to my keys cause my keys doesn't have one yet. I'm excited to have another hand sanitizer cause I do go through them quickly. I don't know, I can be slightly a germaphobe. Mainly it's like if I'm about to eat or if I'm gonna touch my face, like I need to sanitize first. It just wears me out if I don't do it first. And then I had no idea they started making scent diffusers. So I do need a diffuser to be able to use this. So I think this is a good start. And I've really been wanting some peppermint and eucalyptus scents as well. Let me know if you get the fortune cookie soap box of the month. What did you guys think of these products? What are some of your favorite products that fortune cookie soap carries? And what did you think of the theming? I thought it was really cute, but maybe for October. But I can't get mad because I'm already like wanting to bust out my fall decor. So it was a great way to get into that spirit. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next video.